Despite being told at 16 that he needed to calm down and get a PhD before he could help save coral reefs, a man started one of the world's most successful coral gardening projects just two years later. Tituan Bernico grew up by the ocean, building a deep connection with the coral reefs. But one day in 2015, he went surfing and found that all of the colorful corals had turned white. He called a marine biologist friend and learned that this meant that they were dying and that if they died, many of the animals that relied on them would likely die too. But his friend also shared the concept of coral gardening, which involves propagating coral, and looks a little bit like gluing the broken pieces of the ocean back together. Inspired, he visited some scientists at a nearby research facility to discuss how he could help most effectively. But after seeing his enthusiasm, they said, little buddy, calm down, and told him that if he was smart enough, he could get a PhD and maybe then have a seat at their table. Frustrated, he let them know that while he respected them, he wasn't about to wait nearly a decade to get involved. And the fire that was lit within him that day led him to start Coral Gardeners in 2017, and since then, his team has planted more than 50,000 corals. This strategy is to find a resilient mother coral and fragment no more than 10% of it. Then, they grow the fragments in an underwater nursery, constantly monitoring their health. In 12 to 18 months, they use marine cement to attach them to a damaged reef, where they then thrive on their own, with some areas growing their fish populations from around 100 to over 10,000 in just three years. I'm Jen, and I post something positive every day.